Hello and welcome to our home. I have here tonight Madeline who is going to cook a blue apron meal for us. This one is a special one. This is part of the Top Chef series. It's Brooke Williamson's recipe. It's going to be spiced pork with red onions and black beans. And now for our feature presentation. Hi and today we are going to be cooking the spiced pork. Okay here we go. Let's get started. Alright, so the first step is to prepare the ingredients, but I always start by washing my hands. Okay. Now, first you have to preheat the oven to 475. To what degree? 475. Okay. Okay. Um, now we have to wash and dry all the fresh fruits. So the fresh What ingredients are in this one? Um, so we have the pork, two cans of black beans, um, cilantro, onion, garlic, and then we have the bag of knickknacks, which is apple cider vinegar, um, light brown sugar, roast pork, spice, honey, and is butter. So take the onion. Do you cook blue apron a lot? Yeah, we do it like every month or so. And now we've, I've peeled the onion, and I'm just going to put all of the scraps in the bag. And then you have to cut the ends off. What do you do with your scraps when you're done? Um, I always take them and put them in like a container or a bag, and then I throw them away at the end. What about like composting them? Um, I compost the vegetable scraps and um, I throw away all the like containers and stuff. Okay. So then we leave this over here and we cut these. This one. Okay, and now we finish cutting up the onion into smaller pieces. And now all we have to cut this onion into bigger pieces. So by bigger pieces, you mean what? About one inch sizes. Okay. As opposed to the diced onion mm -hmm. right here? Okay. Okay, so now we have to peel the garlic and cut it up. So, I want to open it first. Get it out. You just want to be careful when you're cutting it because it's small. Okay. So the next step is to drain and rinse the beans. Okay. Now that we've done 
done that, um, we have to chop the cilantro. Somebody else wants the blue apron. So what has cooking with blue apron taught you? Well, um, we, a few good things about blue apron <laughs> is like everybody can help. <laughs> <laughs> is that everyone can help make it, and um, it teaches you a few tips and like how to cook. And it gives you a bunch of recipes that you can use. So does the whole family end up cooking? Yeah, like um, someone could, I don't know, like mix up something or like make some sauce while somebody else could like chop up the ingredients and make like the pork or something. Have you learned anything in particular? Um, like a few ways you can chop some things and like how to cook certain foods. Like what foods do you like to cook? Um, there was this one that we did and it was um, a salmon roll and we've done that recipe a few times like without even ordering the apron. Okay, now we have that sliced. So put this in a little bowl. Okay, so we got the pan laid out. Now we have to wrap it with aluminum. Okay, so now we've taken the pork out of the package and just going to pat it dry. You want to make sure after you pat it and you get all of it done, you want to make sure that you wash your hands really well or else you can get um, like diseases and stuff from raw meat. You want to make sure you get all the sides. Make sure it's not wet. Now it says to season all sides with salt, pepper, and the spice. So we get pepper and spice. Okay. Alright, so we use the Himalayan pink salt because it tastes better and it's supposed to be healthier. So now I have a pan on medium high with two teaspoons of oil in it. So I'm just going to take the meat and I'm going to put it in the pan for five minutes. So now the pork has finished cooking. So we're going to take this and put it over on the pan over there. Okay, so now I'm just taking the pork out of the pan and putting it, put it on this. And then I took the onion slices, not the diced ones, just the sliced ones, and I put them in a bowl, and I mixed olive oil, salt, and pepper, and tossed them together. So now we're going to put it in the oven. You're going to put it in the oven for how long? We're going to put it in the put it in the oven for 20 to 26 minutes. Until it's cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit and the onions are tender. It says 26 to 28 minutes, so I say we go ahead and pick 27. Yeah. So 
so going on here? Okay, so what I did was I added butter, onions, salt, and pepper. These are the diced onions. So then I took them and I'm just mixing them up in this bowl. And okay. they're gonna make caramelized onions. Okay, so how long are they gonna cook for right now? Right now they're gonna cook for three to four minutes. And then what do you do with them? Then you um, well, you figure out when they're done when they're brown and slightly soft, and then you add the brown sugar, half a cup of, and the half a cup of water. And then let them cook for how long? Then they cook for 11 to 13 minutes. Okay, so now we have the brown sugar and the water added to the onions. They've been going for about four minutes. They only got about eight minutes left on them. And then we took the pan that had the pork in it and we added some olive oil and to the bond, the round yeah. bits that were left over. Mm -hmm. And we added some garlic and beans. And now we're just going to let this cook for a while, make sure it's stirred up so it doesn't burn. Right. We took the fond and we heated it up. We added a little bit of olive oil just to make it wet again. And then we went ahead, once the pan was hot, we added our chopped garlic and we let it sit there till it was fragrant. We added a little salt and pepper to it. That takes about 30 seconds to a minute. And then once that was ready and fragrant, we added the two cans of beans to it. And then again, adding salt and pepper. So now we're gonna wait for that to cook. And to the beans, in about another minute, we're gonna add honey, half of the little container of the apple cider vinegar that came with it, the other half goes in some of the onions that we're waiting to finish. And we're gonna add a half a cup of water to the beans, season with salt and pepper again. And then scraping up any of the fond, again the fond is the brown bits that are left over in the pan. Um, and then that'll go for about seven to eight minutes or until the liquid has reduced by volume about three fourths. So we're gonna make this thickened. Turn off the heat and season with salt and pepper again to taste. Okay, so now what we've done is we took the beans and the onions and we mixed them together and we stirred them around for a while. And then we added one fourth of the cilantro into here. And now we're just gonna mix it up. And we just tested the pork to see what temperature was at and it's not quite ready yet. Okay, so once, so what I did was I took the beans and I mixed them with the caramelized onions. And then for the pork, all we did was take it out of the oven, let it sit for five minutes so it could absorb all the juice and stuff. And then um, we took the caramelized, the roasted onions and we took them out. We added the rest of the apple cider, apple cider vinegar and then we let them sit and garnish everything with cilantro. It looks amazing. Thank you for cooking this this evening. You're welcome. Go Blue Apron.